substantially increasing storms. Chief Meteorologist Joe Diaz has your forecast. Uh, yeah, here's what we're looking at. First of all, in the Albuquerque area, we have some uh, thunderstorms falling apart to the north. The wind's coming out of it, trying to form a shower around the North Valley right here. But uh, you can see some spotty activity as we get into the evening. Not everyone's going to get wet, though. And new flash flood warning effect for the Bear Trap fire over there in southwestern sections of New Mexico. So make sure you stay away from those flood prone areas. Well, here's this high pressure. It's very hot, hence the heat advisor underneath it around the Farmington area is taking that moisture, starting in the mountains and then wrapping it in to other areas. But this is bad for the burn scars as we're showing you at the top of the newscast. Now look how this is going to shift around in the days ahead. First of all, here's this high. It starts to edge a little bit closer to areas around Farmington for tomorrow. So kind of dry there and showers and thunderstorms forming in the mountains and then pulling off on into uh, areas to the south and to the southeast. So that's what we're looking at for tomorrow. But then as it shifts over, the heat will still be with us. There will still be a few showers and thunderstorms around the area. But look at this rich plume of monsoon moisture. Eventually, this will start to work into sections of Arizona and skirt into northern and western parts of the state. So that's what we're looking at in the days ahead. As we check out tomorrow, you'll see showers and thunderstorms scattered across the area in the mountains on into uh, some of the northeastern parts of New Mexico and throughout the higher terrain throughout the southwest. There is that heat. So expect another heat advisory around the Farmington area. Heat continuing to blaze southern portions of New Mexico as well. We go into Saturday and then that shifting high pressure system. Uh, in fact, here in uh, the Albuquerque area, if we get something around the Sandias, it could work into eastern parts of the Sandias. So that could be some isolated showers and thunderstorms there. And then we get more of that south to north flow that will favor western and northern parts of the state. And eventually this will bend over central parts of New Mexico for a time. So the Four Corners region forecast. Yeah, I'm expecting another heat advisory the next couple of days around the Farmington area. So take it easy out there. And then as more monsoon moisture starts to work in, you'll see temperatures finally starting to lower and showers and thunderstorms starting to increase. Most of these storms will be around the higher terrain and then drift off into some of the lower elevations. 101 over in T or C, Lordsburg 100 degrees, some scattered showers and thunderstorms around the Silver City area, but increasing Sunday and Monday. And again, as we get into Wednesday and Thursday of the upcoming week, southeastern sections of New Mexico, it looks like it's going to be pretty dry and hot. 84 to 96 over in Ruidoso on into the Alamogordo. Gordo area 100 to 99 in Roswell into Artesia and you see 100 degree temperatures pretty common over the next several days in the Roswell area. Northeast these thunderstorms will form in the mountains and then push in an easterly direction for Las Vegas probably a little less active on Saturday and a little more active on Sunday into Monday and even more active still as we get into uh, Wednesday and Thursday of the upcoming week. Now northern parts of New Mexico will see uh, daytime highs warming into the 80s and 90s and so it's going to be hot in the Santa Fe area with some showers and thunderstorms rumbling about increasing as we get to the latter portion of the weekend and certainly deeper into next week. And here in the metro area, we'll start off quiet, late to a very hot and steamy afternoon. Not as bad as a couple days ago, but you'll certainly start to notice it. So a passing shower or thunderstorm for tomorrow, then isolated showers and thunderstorms on the increase for Saturday, Sunday on into Monday and increasing again with dropping temperatures, especially Wednesday on into Thursday as some humid air backs in from the eastern part of New Mexico. So uh, finally, we could see increasing storms and lower heat, Doug and Shelley, because uh, while it was so great with the moisture in June, uh, July has been characteristically dry and hot here in the Albuquerque area.